Hank here with my thoughts on Rode and Vortex's Call Me service. Over a year and a half ago, I did a video on the Vortex Communications service Call Me. That was at the beginning stages of when they were bringing calling services for radio. Back then, in that video, I speculated that Rode would either team with Vortex Communications to bring an app to their Rodecaster series or that they would partner with another streaming service like Squadcast or somebody like that. However, finally, for public consumption, the Roadcasters Call Me service is ready for prime time. For the past several months, I've been in the beta program, but now I can officially talk about everything. So it's not just Roadcaster Duo or Roadcaster Pro 2 to another Roadcaster Pro 2 or Roadcaster Duo calling. It's also web-enabled calling. Later, I'm going to talk about what I think some of these other services should do to stay in the game, like Squadcast, Ringer, and companies like that. So what I wasn't expecting and what I think is really cool is the web browser to Roadcaster Pro 2 or Roadcaster Duo calling. That's the feature that I think is the ultimate game changer. So after you have installed the most recent firmware update for the Roadcaster Pro 2 or your Roadcaster Duo. You're going to see the Call Me icon light up green in the upper right-hand corner of the device. Next, you're going to simply assign Call Me to one of your physical or virtual faders. To receive a call, you simply give your device's code to the person you want to add to the production. So this could be displayed on a website if you were taking live calls, or this could be something you just send to a friend. They're going to use this code to call directly into your Roadcaster. And if they're doing it from the web browser, the link you send them is going to tie directly to your device. To access the code, simply tap on the channel access button for the Call Me channel. And there, the access code will be shown in the channel screen. If you're doing the web browser-based calling, then the QR code and the URL will display on the screen for you to give to the other person. On the channel screen, you can also set up processing for the Call Me calls and click the Call Me Configuration button to see each of the three Call Me channels and their status. If you have it configured correctly, it's going to say Ready, Make a Call. There's also an Advanced button that allows you to cycle from good to excellent road Call Me quality and also shows caller ID as well. You can also assign another Roadcaster's Call Me code as a quick access on a smart pad on your device, or you can load up to eight quick dials under the Ready Make a Call menu. Does someone have your code and they keep trying to call you and you want it to stop? It's as simple as turning hosting off and then back on, which will generate you a new code. Lastly, you're going to see a button that says either Upgrade or Pro License. That's going to show the device's serial number, and it also includes a check for license button. Over at account.road.com, you're going to see three tiers for the Call Me service. Call Me Lite is free and comes with a five-hour trial of web to Roadcaster calling and 10 hours per month of calling Roadcaster to Roadcaster. Now, Call Me is $9.99 per month or 99 per year. However, when I go to the website myself, it says $9.90. I don't know if that's a typo or if that's actually the price it's supposed to be or if the information I got for this tier has been altered since I wrote the information down. Either way, both of those are really good prices. If you check into services like Squadcast, Ringer, Riverside, while some of those have video components to them, you'll find that they're priced much higher than this nominal fee that Rode is asking. So under the $99 per year plan, you're going to get two Call Me channels, unlimited Roadcaster to Roadcaster calling and full access to browser-based calling. Now here is for the radio professionals and people who are running big time operations, Call Me Pro. Now that's going to be $49.99 per month or $499 per year. And it comes with three Call Me channels, unlimited Roadcaster to Roadcaster calling, full access to browser-based connections, 
advanced SIP crawling, full codec control, and third-party interoperability with IP audio codecs, and even more features for the real radio tech-savvy individuals. Stuff that I don't think most podcasters are going to be using. This is Hank calling in from an undisclosed location using my remote setup of the Zoom H6 Essential and the Rode PodMic USB. I'm in an untreated space calling remotely into my own Rodecaster Duo. And this is what the sound quality is like using the web browser with an audio interface calling into the Rodecaster Duo. Hey, would you do me a favor and please subscribe to this channel? It'd be greatly appreciated. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to talk about companies like Squadcast, etc. They either A, need to diversify or B, what I would do if I were one of those companies is I would reach out to maybe a Tascam, maybe a Zoom, somebody else that's in this kind of wheelhouse. And I would say, we will be the official provider for your service. And then those companies don't have to try to worry about creating some back end on their own. They would already have the infrastructure in place and it'd be a good way to diversify. While not every podcaster is going to switch to this, what do you think podcasters who own Roadcaster Pro 2s or Duos are going to recommend to their co-hosts or other friends? They're going to recommend this based on this service alone. So if you are a company in this podcast machine wheelhouse, you might want to consider partnering with somebody that's already doing voice over IP and integrating that into your hardware. I do think some of those companies are going to take a considerable hit. All these companies like to use the term game changer. Is this a legitimate game changer in your opinion? Chime in in the comments. I know a lot of people reach out to me about taking calls and stuff. It's one of the most requested things I get. So I think this is going to be huge for people who are trying to bring in that live element and have calls coming in. This is going to be astronomical, in my opinion. But what do you say? Chime in in the comments down below. What do you think of the Call Me service? As always, thank you.